Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I'm a seer, so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic medium and a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through in these messages want to come through. I am a twin flame though, so most of my readings are twin flame related right now. So chances are if you've been guided to this channel, you could also be a twin flame and I'm so very happy to have you here and hope you find the answers you're looking for. So before I begin, as always, we call my protection. There's one song that was coming through earlier and it's You light up my life, you give me hope to carry on. Now, I don't know who sings that, Lady. Um, you light up my life. Um, and I'm going to call my protection out and then we'll, I'll tell you a bit more about tonight's message. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times? as I bring forward this clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you. Archangel Michael, could you please surround anyone who watches this message online in a golden bubble of God's protection also, as well as their loved ones, their home and pets. Thank you so much. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilize the connection between myself and spirit ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the highest and greatest good of the collective. Thank you so much, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. Okay, let's clear the energy. <clears throat> a couple of things come through. So I'm getting another song as well here. Um, so it's we dream the same dream, we want the same thing. Oh, and all that we need is to see it together. So it's Blanche Carlyle, we dream the same dream. So look up the lyrics of that. This is all about someone who's saying, let's get on the same page which would tie in with what I've been feeling today. Somebody um, wants you to feel that you can trust them again. This person is coming in here in an apologetic energy for sure, but they're saying, you can trust me. You can trust me. We can do this together. We can build this together. We can build our future together. I want you to trust me. We dream the same dream. We want the same things out of life. But there you have to we have to get on the same page with each other here. So there could be some kind of block um in the way here. It could be to do with the chakra blockages or something. Could be issues with the third eye because I've got Archangel Metatron's deck tonight, which means Archangel Metatron could be working with this couple. Trying to open them up to who they are, trying to open um, maybe the masculine up to their Akashic Breakers and things a bit more. Um, but this, I hear this masculine saying, can you trust me again? Can we do this? Can you forgive me? Can you trust me? Can we start over and this time get on the same page? Because we both want the same thing. We want the same thing out of our lives. And this person really, you really are this the light of this person's life. 
you give them hope to carry on but they just want to know i think your trust right now is going to be what pushes them so if you're getting this message now and if you're thinking that does sound like my person and we'll find out if it is your person when i get through some cards um send them that loving um send them that loving permission to approach you and ask you in 3d you know send them and say look i i, I can learn to trust you again only if this is your story so let me let me get some cards first so where will we go first let's get some tarot on this and find out what happened here um but yeah this person is just saying trust me trust me you you can trust me so i don't know if when this person comes back you might be worried that you can't trust them or something but they, they want you to trust them again because i think there's something beautiful you can both build upon here um and I think this person's biggest regret is making you not want to trust them. Like, you know, the, the, what I mean is I think this person's biggest regret is losing your trust in some way. Um, so can I get some details on this <laughs> king of water? <laughs> now I felt this energy before I started there's a very emotion, uh, emotional masculine here now it doesn't matter man or woman just switch the roles as, as necessary I felt that there's somebody here who's very emotional and I think it's because they think they've lost your trust ten of ten of water this king of water wants to offer you something beautiful they know they can have something beautiful, beautiful with you, and I'm not sure what happened to you in the past. But um, tell me, um, tell me why this King of Waters is in regret right now. Tell me why this. Oops. Ten of Air. There was some sort of betrayal. There was some sort of betrayal went on. To the bear. It caused this person to um cause this person to overanalyze their connection with you, but also caused this person to um stop and maybe change direction. This person and you could have been heading on a beautiful traje trajectory, I'm trying to say that. Um with each other you could have been moving in the right direction you could have been moving towards your ten of cups and then suddenly something halted and you didn't know why because i feel a sudden like what i feel is like somebody veering off the road so somebody driving along in a nice country road you know singing like tom cruise when he's singing free falling by tom petty that can be somebody who's just driving along having a lovely time and then they just suddenly veer off the road unexpectedly and I feel this person could have done that to you. They could have been happy with you and then just suddenly went cold. And I think it's because of some kind of um, mental conflict over something. Tell me why this person was so over analytical. Love and temptation. And I just thought you've got this group in a third party temptation that caused this person to now the temptation card doesn't have to be a person it can just be a behavior you know toxic habits and things but something pulled this masculine a temptation pulled this masculine away from his love for you or her love for you can you tell me please more about the temptation card here what can you tell me more about the temptation card here Tell me more about the temptation card here that caused this masculine to star. Now that tells me either this person was um 
confused about what they wanted. So this person could have thought that something else was everything they could have wished for. Or this person was tempted by an Aquarius. <laughs> Let me see. They have the Ten of Fires underneath. So that whatever this is, it left this person burdened. So tell me why the star here is the temptation. Why is the star the temptation? Either this person thought they were going towards a wish fulfillment. Or this person um, wasn't fully healed from a past situation. Let me see. Why is the temptation coming out as a star? Why is the temptation coming out as a star? Seven of air. And just as I said, why is it coming out as a star? They showed me the star upside down. <clears throat> so this person got more than they bargained for in a situation. It was a complete opposite of wish fulfillment and it was deception. So this person could have been tempted out of their connection with you straight into some sort of deception here. Can you tell me a bit more about this deception? Okay. Some, right. When this person, this person realised, this person thought they were investing in a victorious situation here. Now, I don't know what this was. There was a lot of secrets. It could have been involving a high priestess, but whatever this was, it put this masculine through a tower. They invested in something we thought that was going to be a victorious. So this is why it was the opposite of wish fulfillment. It was deception and lies. Secrets. Things been hidden. It, all this masculine got was a tower. But it was needed. It was needed. And just, just before I forget, I meant to say this at the start. I, I think a few people panicked when I brought out the, the false twin flame card in last night's reading. I just want to give you a quick, quick in before I move on in this reading. So, it's, it's easiest way as I can put it right. I don't like the term false twin flame. I've never liked it because it confuses people who are actual twin flames into thinking that they're person the false twin flame and things like that. Um. But the opposite can happen as well. Someone can think they're false. But anyway, I don't like the term false twin flame because let's... So all a false twin flame is, is a karmic energy who copycats the twin flame. So this is a karmic energy who's trying to copycat the actual divine feminine or divine masculine of the person that they're trying to. So they are trying to step into the energy of the twin. So they can then think that they can get the inheritance, the spiritual, all the blessings that come with a spiritual union and a twin flame union. The reason why the masculine or feminine nine out of ten chooses them is because they are still a false twin flame, as I say, who isn't shouldn't be called a false twin flame because that's not even a nice title for them. They should just be called copycat karmic, who's trying to <laughs> copycat a twin flame. And all that happens is that is a karmic who's coming in as a twin flame energy to stop your person moving into union with their actual twin flame by distracting them into their lower, keeping them in their lower vibrational energy. So a false twin flame is someone who will come in in the energy of the twin flame, giving the masculine that comfort and the twin flame, trying to do the, give the twin flame energy but also being low vibrational. So like if your masculine said to you, for example, I want you to be more liberal in the bedroom. I want us to have, you know, multiple partners and things. And you were like, no way. I've got more respect for myself. I know I'm a goddess. I don't need you to, you know, pass me around or whatever. Um, but the false twin flame would be like, fine, I'll do that. So they, they are willing, they are like the dark shadow version of you because they are low vibrational, but they're trying to emanate a twin flame energy. 
and that's what keeps your person stuck. That's what distracts your person because they've got a wee bit of comfort from someone in the twin flame energy, but they're in their lower vibrational, darker energies. And it's not until the actual true divine feminine breaks away from her masculine, she cuts ties, she starts to ascend, and then her masculine starts to ascend. Then they wake up and realise, oops, I'm with a false twin flame. This isn't my twin flame at all. This is a karmic who's copycatting my twin flame. And then they realise that they've made a complete mess of it and that's when they have to try and come back. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because this, this could have happened to this masculine. He could have met his twin flame here because I, I was saying, you know, on the road, driving along happily and then veered off. And he went right into a tower. So he could have met someone who, and the trouble is, a false twin flame can only copycat until the masculine wakes up and then the masculine can see through the facade. And false twin flames cannot, they do not carry the same light frequency as a divine feminine. So it doesn't matter how much they try to put illusions and confusion with the seven of cups over a masculine, it does not work when the masculine wakes up. So that's why I say to you feminines, it's so important to heal and focus on yourself because that is what makes your masculine wake up to the fact that we're with a toxic karmic situation and a false twin flame. So that's what's happened here, I believe. There's been some sort of illusions put over this masculine to make him walk away from his love into the star reversed and the seven of air and the seven of cups, thinking he was investing in a victorious connection and he got a tower instead. So tell me, who does this king of water want to go towards now, please? Nine of water, his wish fulfillment, his actual wish fulfillment this time, not his fake one. So let's see. I just hear this masculine saying, you need to, I just need you to trust me again. Yeah, look, patience and transformation. This person is saying, be patient with me because I'm waking up to this connection. And I now know you are the light of my life. Whoever this fake copycat energy is, this fake high priestess, no. All they put over this masculine was deceit, betrayal with the Ten of Air, the Seven of Cups. Yes. Yes. So tell me now, who is this King of Water hoping to go back to here? Yeah, he's, look, he's healing because he's getting ready to come in here and speak some sort of truth to you. And I feel that. Because um, this masculine, is, I just keep on, I keep on hearing, can you, will you ever trust me again? Can you trust me again? We want the same things here. This masculine want to tell you the truth. He, he got fooled. He got deceived. He, he. He definitely fell into, as I say, I don't like the term false twin flame, but I feel like he fell into a copycat. A copycat energy who was distracting him from, you know, his actual twin. Grass is greener energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who is this King of Water wanting to go and speak the truth to now? Two of Earth and Six of Earth. This masculine is trying to get himself balanced and back on track here before he returns to you. He is coming in here to try and bring balance back. He does want to offer some sort of security for this connection of some kind. Now he could be working on his finances as well, but I do feel like he's just trying to balance out his life, get his priorities straight again. I feel this masculine was really, um, really proactive in the relationship with you and then just veered off, as I say, veered off out of nowhere when this energy came into. Now this was either somebody from his past that came back or this was, because exes do sense when their person is moving on, or this is like just, this is just a, an opportunist 
karmic energy opportunists here who saw this masculine could be coming into his emperor energy. Four of water. Yeah, this masculine. He 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 rejected you for something here that put him through an awakening. So it was all meant to happen this way. It was destined to happen this way. As I say, that's what, I mean, in a way we have to thank the energies that call themselves the false twin flames. Um, yeah, judgment. But that had to happen this way because this, the masculine's now awake. And that is when he realised that he was stuck in the chain of air with a karmic high priestess. You know when you buy something gold plated and you scratch off the gold? It looks beautiful at first, it's all shiny and glitzy and you walk in the sun like, ooh, it's so, so golden. And then you wake up and your wrist's all black. And then you, you go like that and you scrape the top of it and all the gold flakes off and underneath it's nothing but black. Cold, dark, black metal. That is all the masculine found. He thought this was a gold shiny. I mean, I feel that this is more, more like it. He, there was somebody here he thought was shiny and new, possibly younger, a lot younger than him. He thought this is my wish fulfillment. This is my dream come true. They are just like my my person, except they're, you know, more up for things that I want to do. They're this, that, they're the other. This was a gold plated. Feminine. He threw away real gold. He threw away the real deal for gold plated, which I think is probably going a bit rusty now. There's definitely some corrosion. <laughs> yeah, his, yeah, he's definitely realising that. But it took him to wake up here to see it. Who is this King of Water going towards now, please? So who is the King of Water going towards now, please? So he's now a King. Oh, this King of Fire comes out every reading these days and the Strength card. So, oh, something that was so so strange. There's something lit up on these cards. See that there? Hmm. Don't know what that is. Um, this King of Fire comes out every single reading these days. But I think it's just because there's a lot of masculines in action mode who are passionate and ready to take action. And I feel it. I do feel it. Strength. So he's definitely getting his strength and courage up here to come forward. This masculine's definitely got in some sort of intuitive gifts himself. That could be why Archangel Knight is trying to work with him. Trying to open up his third eye more so he can see clearly what's been going on. But now this masculine can see, yeah, and look, a new beginning to the Queen of Water. Oh, King and Queen of Water. This is a couple who are totally in love. That's why I'm saying we dream the same dream, we want the same thing. All we need is to see it together. We just need to be on the same page. We love each other. We love each other, but we're just... Can you trust me again after I veered off course? Distracted by fool's gold. Yeah, eight of water. And the world card here. He walked away from you, but he's also walked away from this other energy, closing out some sort of cycle. Yeah. He saw through the illusions. But I think he is coming in here to open up to you show, and reveal a lot to you as well about what happened. I mean, I feel this person t totally caught you off guard. Blindsided you. Eight of Earth. This masculine is working hard on his finances and there's a Wheel of Fortune. 
this masculine's definitely working hard on his finances here before he can return to his queen of water. Tell me what this masculine hopes here to bring forward to this queen of water. <laughs> I love offer. And I've got three of water on the bottom. He wants to come in and, and admit that he loves you. He loves you very, very much. He, he's coming in with some sort of romantic offer here. An offer of commitment to work together. To, to put two heads together and come up with the dreams that you want to share here. A life that you want to share together. You dream the same dream. There's a lot more to that song. This person, it's together forever. No. In love, together forever. Amen. So yeah, something about this masculine could be praying as well. To get forever with you. To have forever with you. Together forever. Some, I'll need to look at the lyrics of that song. But it's We Dream the Same Dream. Belinda Carlisle. Look up the lyrics. Could be a message from your person. So, five of fire. So this masculine's definitely wanting to move away from any conflict here with, with his. Now, I feel this is with you, feminine. Um, I feel... Uh, that's why I feel he's saying you'll never trust me. Because I think he feels when he comes back there's going to be a lot of arguments and disagreements. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think you're going to be forgiving and open to this masculine yeah eight and nine of the year so the masculine's wanting to make progress here towards you they want to move towards you here they, they don't want to give up on this i think they're more worried that you want to give up on them though that's why i keep on hearing can you trust me again will you trust me again how is this feminine going to feel when this masculine returns how is this feminine going to feel when this masculine returns son you are going to forgive him or her you're just going to be overjoyed they've come back you're just going to be so happy to see them back in your life again and this person's fearful that you're going to turn want to turn them away i feel this person feels that you're going to give them the four of cups <laughs> You're going to be so happy. You're going to be overjoyed. Tell me what this masculine is hoping for. To bring you an offer. To bring you a solid offer of commitment and stability. What else is this masculine hoping to get out of this situation? Three of fire. That you move forward, plotting a course together for the future. Moving ahead together. United. Laying down the burdens. They're, they're, they're done with the burdens of this connection. Um, how can we be lovers if we can't be friends? How can we start over if the fighting never ends, baby? <laughs> so this person thing needs to be friends first. But... This is an unbreakable bond of friendship, of love, true love. And I've seen a Scrabble board just as I poured it. I meant to say that at the start. I saw a Scrabble board, so somebody could really love to play Scrabble. Or somebody's just trying to find the words. But I saw a Scrabble board. I love Scrabble. <laughs> I used to actually play it kind of professionally only <laughs> and chess at one point as well I really need a life <laughs> I, was playing, I was playing a Russian at chess the same guy at one chess tournament for nearly a year online needless to say the Russian beat me but I did put up a good a good year's fight out so to fire so yeah this there has been a bit of a stuck energy here because this masculine hasn't been sure whether to come forward to you or not. Even though he's awake now, I think he's still kind of struggling with the fear that you might reject him or something. 
or you're not going to want them or you're not going to trust him or her. As I say, just switch the roles as necessary. Anything else? This masculine knows this is a trail of connection though. <laughs> yeah, regrets. I've had a few. Too much to mention. <laughs> I'm just hearing that song in my head. Yeah, this person, and honestly, I've been feeling regret from this person from the moment I tapped into their energy. I mean, yeah, Ace of Earth. Oh, this person, look, this person's coming in here to offer something very beautiful, very special. There's something about to be revealed to you that you don't not see yet. Something exciting coming in. Ace of Earth to an Empress, to your water. Now I feel this person is going to catch you completely off guard. And there's the Emperor right behind that. Wow. So, Empress, Ace of Earth, to your water, an Emperor. Feel this person has been getting their finances up for a very special purpose to surprise you with something. Page of Fire, exciting news coming in. Happy, exhilarating news coming in. Anything else before I get another deck of cards here, please? I want to find out what beautiful Archangel Metatron has to say about this. Yeah, the chariot. And the messenger of air so that there is some sort of fast moving energy with this person and we got the eight of wands as well so this is fat i mean eight, the the knight of knight of swords energy and the chariot that's fast that is like this masculine's not taking any more chances i feel like they've wasted enough time and they know to build up to build up trust with you again they have to come back and they have to come back soon and they have to come back correct. So is this masculine coming in in a very genuine way now? Is this masculine coming in here in a very genuine way? Is this masculine coming in here in a very genuine way? Well, the cards might be on the table, let's see. Is this masculine coming in here sincere and genuine? So that never fell out, I just stopped shuffling at it. So, Queen of Air, Three of Air, Five of Air. So, this could have been the person they were connected to. I just stopped shuffling when they told me to just to see what it was. And it was the Queen of Air, Three of Air. Now, I said, did this, is this masculine coming in here? Yes. Eighth of Air, Justice, Eight of Air. So, this masculine has been struggling here to get the confidence up. I feel they've been dealing with kind of self-confidence issues, but they do want to bring justice and a beautiful new beginning here. They are coming in here, sincere and the king of air. So they're coming in here with a very honest approach. Um, kind of lay all their cards on the table like I'm doing right now. Um, definitely want to, I, I, definitely, I definitely think they want to have a very honest, open conversation about how they chose temptation over love so let me just i'll just clarify quickly because you know i love a good clarification so i just saw the love card with the, the world card so a new cycle in love can you just clarify is this masculine coming in in a very sincere way to his feminine now is this masculine coming in in a very sincere genuine way can his feminine expect this masculine to come in a very sincere, genuine, loving way. I mean, I think so. I mean, I've had so I've had the ten of cups. Yes, three of water. He's coming in, just filled with love and devotion to you. And there's something I do feel there's because I just saw the three of fire. So he's coming in with something very, very special. Page of water in the bottom and four of fire. He's definitely coming in here with an open heart. An open heart and a huge apology for falling for fake gold. 
because when you scratch the surface, as I say, there's nothing there. It's just tin. It, it's nothing, it's not even a precious metal. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Metatron has to say. And I've got some spirit cards and I've got some angelic love and guidance. And I'll get some zodiac signs. Archangel Metatron, can you give us a bit of advice or insight into this connection? Anything that we need to know about this masculine or this couple? Anything they're going through in their ascension? What do we need to know about this couple right now, please? Archangel Metatron, that one. Okay, so the masculine's in this energy, review and reflection. Time out is needed. So this masculine's on a spiritual time out. He is sitting, getting um, downloads, absorbing, taking time out for meditation, resting, reviewing everything. So we saw the Four of Swords, the Four of Air. So he's definitely taking time out to heal and meditate. Um, he's now listened to guidance. Can you tell me a wee bit more about what's going on, Archangel Metatron, with this masculine, please? What, what's going on in the life of this masculine? What's going on in the life of this masculine? This one? So, transformation. <laughs> He's He has been dealing with the shadow. He's been doing shadow work. And conquering fear so it says light and dark yeah he's balancing out so as the feminine has to balance out her light and dark her masculine feminine it's actually bringing the masculine back in and now he is doing the same he's now um trying to balance out that's the the twin flame act is an absolute balance because when the masculine picks the car make the copycat or whatever the, the divine feminine starts to balance out the energies and which pulls the masculine to, into doing the same. He has no choice. You are one soul. So when you're balancing out your energies of light and dark, your masculine is doing the exact same thing. When you are trying to balance out your masculine feminine, your masculine is doing the exact same thing. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful harmonizing balancing act. But when it, when it goes into full alignment, it's beautiful. The energy is amazing when you both get it right with your your um, shadow work. And this is what the masculine is doing right now. He's he's doing his shadow work. He's going within. He's spending time resting, healing, trying to overcome his fear. Now, this is all Archangel Michael's colours here because Archangel Michael will really be pushing this masculine to his highest greatest timeline to make sure he's fully fully on board fully um what's the word fully confident but letting go of all the fears of not being good enough and things so start today conquering fear start today and this is what i feel um archangel Metatron, archangel michael and probably many other archangels are helping this masculine work through their fears Anything else, please, Archangel Metatron? We need to know about this masculine, what's going on with them right now that we need to know. So transformation, conquering fear, healing, resting and resting re rejuvenation. So that's kind of um, healing, dark night of the soul. Um, anything else? Anything else, please, Archangel Metatron, about this masculine or this couple? Okay. He's getting the yeah. So it says, pause to receive healing. So this masculine has been told to sit still, meditate and receive the powerful healing. Now, if you look at all this healing, it's coming from above here and it's coming right above the crown and the soul star about here and then the third eye. So all this, I'm telling you, this masculine is now opening up to his higher wisdom and things. He's He's getting, and this is all the colours of the chakras. So there's beautiful healing light getting poured through this masculine to heal and align all their chakras. Unblock any chakras, heart chakra, third eye. This is definitely getting all the chakras healed. 
any kind of health issues this masculine could have as well. Oops. So it says Mother Earth it says grounding and support. So this masculine is heavily supported by Mother Gaia and nature. This masculine, when he walks outside, he'll probably have so, so much support from the birds and all the, the loving elementals around us. Um, so this masculine has a lot of support from the earth to help ground his energy, to give him that support and love he needs to keep moving forward, to heal. I mean, nature is the best healer for all twin flames, for anyone, but twin flames especially. Blue, Madonna and mothering. So. This can be a sign of mother wounds in someone, someone who really has never, when they experience true love from a woman, they kind of don't see it because they've never really had a mother's love. Um, so they don't really know what love truly means. But this can also be the masculine's kind of getting that loving, um, nurturing for his inner child right now. And he could really be working with beautiful Mother Mary energy as well. Um, I mean, this is the love of Mother Mary, who is the most, she is the epitome of the ultimate mother, the ultimate mother who will love you unconditionally. And I feel like he could be working with those beautiful Mother Mary energies as well right now. So another card of rest and retreat. So this masculine has been taking time out. You might not have heard or seen this masculine for a long time. Now this could be you know, six months to a year, because this masculine has definitely been working on themselves. They've definitely been getting a lot of healing and support from the divine. Um, anything else, please, Archangel Metatron? Oh, this one. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so look, green heart healing. So he's definitely he's getting all of the chakras healed here and opened, but he's definitely got some sort of heart wound um no no when I, I don't mean a literal heart wound i hope not this is, this is i mean this is a heart chakra wound something that has left a scar on his heart chakra so it could be to do with a mother energy but it also could just be the fact that he just lacks confidence he he could have been hurt in the past or he just never really truly understood what it meant to have a woman love him so unconditionally before. Mm -hmm. I don't think what I don't think that's masculine. I just feel grass grass is greener energy from this person. I don't think they realised their love was so deep for you until after they made their own choice and chose a fake fake gold. I don't think they realised their love was so deep for you until they realised the difference. And my nose is tickling like mad. <laughs> I think Archangel Metatron's tickling my nose. Um, anything else Archangel Metatron from this day? So, creation, expansion in your life. They're trying to get this masculine to make room for a new. Um, now that this card is all about creation, this masculine could be a power, powerful manifester. Um, he could be a powerful creator of some kind. Now, whatever that means to this masculine, it can mean a number of things. It can mean they're actual creative, or it can just mean that they are going to create something very unique. I should. A minute ago, I was saying I was. I think I can see Archangel Metatron's dragon because I was seeing like the ground being scorched, like something burning away all the old. And just as I picked up the deck, I see Archangel Metatron's dragon. So this masculine could be working with um, Archangel Metatron's dragon energy right now as well to basically clear away all the old, burn away the, all the old debris to allow for some new expansive creation to come in here. Now it can be um, expansion in this connection, but I do feel it's something bigger than that. Yeah. Fire, dragon and strength. This masculine could have some sort of connection to dragons as well. So air, fly free. 
which is along the same lines as the dragons. The dragons fly free, fly. They um, they do fly free, but this when it comes out just after the dragon card, I feel I definitely feel this masculine could have um connections to dragons somehow. He could he could be um. It could have been a dragon energy himself at one point. There's something here about this masculine that's connected to dragons. He might feel like he has a very powerful connection to dragons. I mean, I I, I feel that I've got a connection to dragons. Um, so this masculine could have something similar, you know, something like that. So, <clears throat> clarity, go within. I told you this masculine is definitely going within right now. So we've, that's three cards of... So we've had the re re review and reflect card, we've had the retreat card, we've had um, the retreat, rest and review card. So there's a lot here. This masculine is in a very, very healing phase right now and getting actual healing as well. Transforming, he's transforming, dealing with his shadow side, doing his shadow work. He's got all the, all the help he needs from nature and Mother Gaia. He's got beautiful Mother Mary energy coming in here to assist him as well. Archangel Michael to overcome his fears. Archangel Metatron's dragon here to help burn away all the old, to make way for a new expansion. And something about this masculine, that they're about to fly free. For sure. Anything else, Archangel Metatron, before I move on to my other deck? Oops. Yes. So, Karma, it says, untang the knots. So this is to do with letting go of karmic cycles, clearing away that, to be honest, that's what a lot of um, karmic energies do. They trigger us to pay off our karmic debts, to clear away any karmic contracts. So this masculine is definitely, um, he may have had karma or he may have received karma for making the wrong choice, but he's had to deal with that and he's had to untie the knots of that karma. To move on from it. Moving on to better times, moving on to more joyous times with his feminine. Communication is definitely coming in, but this is all about communication with spirit, communicating with the other realms. I do believe there's communication coming in from this masculine very soon, but speak up and be heard. So for me, as I say, this is the masculine coming in to speak his truth. He could be standing up to a lot of people now, but that's also for me communication with the divine as well. Anything else, please, Archangel Metatron, before I get some other cards on this? Anything else? Anything else? Are we done? Anything else we need to know about this couple or this masculine? I think we're done. Are, you, are we done? Okay. Oh, not quite. <laughs> so the chakras, yeah, light body. I feel that this masculine is getting some sort of chakra upgrade. He's getting his chakras fully healed, but all his chakras are getting lit up here. Like the Christmas tree on Times Square, which I've never seen in person apart from TV. It looks wonderful. I do plan to see it sometime. <laughs> Magic. So this masculine has magic. He is a magician. There's there's definitely a lot of magic crackling around this masculine. I mean, he's got the fact he's got um the fact he's got so much love and support from Mother Mary, and also from Mother Gaia as well. So and. Archangel Metatron's dragon showing up as well. So there's something about this masculine that's very powerful. I mean, strength. Archangel Metatron's dragon is about strength, leadership, power. Yeah, something. Pink, self-love and nurture. I just stopped shuffling there and it was self-love card. So this masculine is definitely learning to love himself again as well. Or herself, just take it as it resonates. I'll get some quick zodiac signs. What time are we on? Oh, 
Oh, not too bad. I'm nearly done as well. That's good. That's good. So can I get some zodiac signs for that could be in the charts of the person I'm picking up on here? So peaceful resolution. So this is what this masculine's hoping for. He's hoping that you can reach some sort of peaceful resolution because he at this point I feel he's quite desperate. He's quite desperate to to be reunited with you. I just keep on getting, can you trust me? We dream the same dream. <laughs> a little orb just came out and say hi to me. Hello. Um, we, this masculine saying we dream the same dream. We want the same thing. <laughs> yeah, friend zone. This masculine pushed you into the friend zone. He could have said, you know, we're better as friends. I pick somebody who's, you know, more like me, who wants the same things as me. They thought they were picking someone who was going to give them everything we could possibly want in life. And they, they, they were the opposite of that. It was a way with deceit. And so this masculine definitely friend zoned his own feminine. So Virgo wanted to come out. The universe, though, as I do, definitely feel this masculine has a lot of connection to nature. Um, he definitely could be spending a lot of time in nature. He's getting ready to take a leap of faith towards a high priestess. The relocation card wants to come out, so someone's moving home, getting a new home. Um, definitely moving out of a situation, possibly. This person's definitely healing. I mean, we keep on getting this healing, resting. There could be a Leo involved. Definitely um, this love can be healed. This person wants to come in and bring some sort of offer. So when I say that, I'm talking about there's some beautiful surprise here. It's not just a bunch of flowers. I feel this is, you know, I don't know why I'm seeing this, but you know, like candles floating in water. I don't know if this is like a boat or out in a boat or something and there's candles floating around the water. Something very romantic is going to happen here. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Something, I just think there's a lot of romance. This connection is ascending towards union. Yeah, I just feel really romantic energy, like you know, little lanterns. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's got passed over loved ones here who are pushing you to basically see each other again because they know when you see each other that that love is going to blossom again so so quickly now feminine you saw that you were going to be overjoyed in the sun energy from this person at times and they think that you're going to push them away and i think you're just going to be happy that they've come back oh you light up my life, you give me hope to carry on. Libra, Pisces, so somebody could have some Pisces. This is a love story worth telling. So you could be about to have an epic love story. I feel this is an epic love story. Definitely a conversation here. You're about to have a conversation because the speech bubbles as a conversation. Now this could be a conversation, sadly, about a third party temptation that fooled this masculine. Aries, somebody could have some Aries in a chart. I just saw the boxing gloves. So this masculine does not want to give up. They, they are willing to do what it takes here. So Virgo, Leo, Pisces, Libra, anything else, any other signs? Your twin flame runner has been struck by love. Cupid has hit your runner. Square in the butt probably if they were running, so that, you know, at least it got them somewhere, right? Divine blessings are coming in. That's what probably what this um, fool's gold feminine thought they were going to get but no not today okay let's see anything else 
anything else then I'll get some I'll get a card from Spirit. So Scorpio could have been prevalent in someone's chart here, but this is a beautiful or this could be a beautiful positive outcome coming in for a Scorpio. But that's just um powerful transformation energy as well. Split the deck, cancer and divine timing. So those are just some of the signs it could be in the chart, the natal chart of the people I'm picking up on. So we'll take it as it resonates. So let me see, I'll get a quick um love and I'll get a quick oh, angel love and relationship cards, guidance from the angels, um of what how to move forward with this connection, and I will then I'll get a few cards from Spirit that they're working on with this masculine. So let's see. Heaven and returning so past over loved ones, just what I said, past over loved ones are pushing you both back together here. Because when I feel like when you're together it is magical. It is magical. So <laughs> okay, chatty cards tonight. Choices. So yeah, I think you have cho a choice here, feminine. Um when that card comes out it says it says pause before you choose. So this could just either saying you have choices or it's saying don't rush into your decision. Take time. When this person comes back and this person has obviously hurt you. This person has obviously really hurt you in the past. They chose another energy, which, you know, it was all a blessing in disguise really because your masculine was in too low vibrational energy for you at that point. Now they're in high vibrational energy, they're emperor energy, they're ready to give you what they couldn't give you before. But I think the divine saying, take some time to listen. Take some time to listen to your own inner guidance and make the decision that's right for you. But this person really does want to reciprocate now. They want to reciprocate the, the feelings and emotions that they never gave to you in the past. So, timing. Everything to do with Twin Flames is all about timing. And that's why I'm always saying you have to surrender to the timing. You cannot force it. And trust me, I've, I'm, I'm putting put my hands up. I've tried it. I've tried it. <laughs> it does not work. It's just like taking a cake out of the oven when it's not cooked through. It's still, all, it's still all raw in the middle. And you can't enjoy it because it's not fully ready. It's not fully ready to be enjoyed to its full potential. And that's what happens if you try and push your person to return to you too soon. They won't be ready and they'll come back exactly the same energy and you're going to manifest the same cycle again. That's why some of these twin flame cycles go on for 10 years. Some people message me and say, I've been in a twin flame connection for 15 years. And that just makes my heart sink. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my goodness, 15 years? I mean, that is a long time to be going through the same karmic cycles over and over and over again. So that's why I say sometimes you need to make a stand and it's hard to walk away, especially when, I mean, it's hard to walk away, especially when they can be your best friend, the only person you feel you can talk to. It's hard to walk away from that and isolate yourself from that. But sometimes it needs to be done because that is then what brings in the beautiful, all the beautiful um, union energy that comes with actually surrendering to God's timing as opposed to pushing your own agenda. It's just letting go and letting the universe bring things in. So talk, this person really does want to have a talk with you. A very important talk. And I think it's all about, can we start over? Can you trust me again? Can you actually put aside the hurt from the past here? It's sincere. This person is sincere. This person's coming in here to offer you honesty, integrity, something they never showed you before, faithfulness. They're coming to show you faithfulness. This person let you down with the fact they betrayed your trust. But they now want to show you that they are faithful to only you. It's only you now. It's only you. I told you, past over loved ones are pushing you back together. Whoever's in the spirit world for you, parents, sisters, grandparents, they are 
cheering this connection on. You have the love of the angels, the love of your past over loved ones and ancestors who are willing you to actually talk to each other here and heal this. <laughs> yeah. It says mistakes. We all make mistakes. And it's true. The human part of us makes lots of lots of mistakes. And that's why I always think, I always, you know, my one of the main things I used to always say, no one's perfect. Because when people would say, oh, such and such did this and they did that and they did that. And I'm like, well, no one's perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. And they do. Some make bigger mistakes than others. I'll be honest. <laughs> Some are very foolhardy with the mistakes they make. But at the end of the day, we all make them. And... The, I think the divine saying, at least listen to this person. They're coming in here sincere, wanting to show that they're ready to reciprocate and be faithful to you because the chemistry in this connection is off the charts. It's a very beautiful connection filled with chemistry, passion and love. And Feminine, I think you will listen to this person. I think you will be able to forgive. I mean, you're, they said you're going to be happy and overjoyed when they come back. Yeah, heal. This person looks, it says, denial. See the truth in the situation. When the masculine saw the truth, when the masculine saw the truth of what he'd done, what he'd chosen, of the fake gold he'd chosen, you know, he literally, it was almost like he chucked away a Tiffany's diamond and picked up a piece of glass. But it's what made this masculine's heart start to heal. It's what made this connection start to heal. This masculine had to, and I don't know why I mentioned a Tiffany's diamond. Hmm. <laughs> it's interesting, I've never thought about Tiffany's diamond before. Um, <laughs> and values on the bottom. Tiffany's diamond is of great value. Yes, just, just. Yeah, this masculine had to see the truth in the situation in order to heal. He he literally Yeah. Yeah, he's it's like, you know, buying a fake Rolex and then by the time you get it home, the hands have stopped moving. I feel like that's what it was like. He thought he, thought he was getting a great deal and it was just a poor imitation. <laughs> Lessons and letting go. Just what I said. You have to let go of something to A, to let them learn. You have to, you have to let go of your person first and foremost to let them learn their lessons. But you also have to let go in general. And that is our own lesson. I had that lesson to learn. Do you know, I was, I was holding on to my twin flame connection with a, a vice leg grip. <laughs> like thinking, if I, let this, if I let this connection go, if I cut myself off from this person, block this person, move on with my life, I would regret it. And I'm never going to feel that way again. But that's not true, because when I actually <laughs> when I actually had the strength to put myself first and choose myself, my, when I put my own needs and everything first and choose myself, now the love I feel even stronger for my person than what I felt when I was with them. So letting go is a very, very important thing that has to happen in any twin flame connection and I can tell you firsthand I wouldn't be able to do this channel if I wasn't feeling like I was already with my person and I do feel like I'm with my person they don't need to be sitting here with me physically right now they are here with me helping me do these readings <laughs> helping me push people to open up to their love for their twin again to restore their faith in themselves but also to restore their faith in the divine okay because that's what my channel is for so i hope it really does have that effect ahead focus ahead because see when you focus ahead and don't look back at the past that's what's coming in a new beginning a brand new beginning 
and teamwork. Now we saw the Three of Pentacles, this person wants to build this teamwork energy with you. There's some sort of powerful transformation taking place as we speak, okay? Now you saw from Archangel Metatron's deck, this person's healing, they're transforming and they're getting ready to return to you. This person is about to return to your life, to talk, to admit their mistakes, but most of all, to bring complete joy and happiness back to your life and to theirs. This person, this person cannot be without you. You are the light of my life. So, let's see. Anything else from this deck? Curiosity. So the masculine is definitely curious. Curious, I think the curiosity is, now that I'm awake, and I'm going to take my glasses and take the steam up for this. The curiosity with the masculine here is, we already had a very intense sexual chemistry between us when I was unawakened. Now that I am awakened, and they're awakened, I'm curious to see what it feels like now. That's what I feel. And that's why I took my glasses off because I didn't want them to get too steamy there. Um, but that's the kind of energy I'm feeling from this masculine. They're curious now. We're both awake. We've got a lot to discuss. But what is that going to be like? Kind of joy from friends, like how are you doing? Kind of energy, that's what I feel. So let's see. Let's get some. Oh, got them upside down. I should have left my glasses on. Um, so let's see here. I've actually got my heating on, so I'm hoping that I don't start coughing very soon because that's my usual when my heating comes on. So let's see. Can I get some cards? Um, from any spirit guides, ancestors, or past life guides, ancestors or angels who are working with this masculine, helping them move towards a feminine here. What, what, what can you tell me? Please and thank you. I definitely feel that nature. Yep. Shamanic healer. Oh, I definitely, I, I didn't see that, but I should have seen that. <laughs> okay. Wow. Right, I'll read them all out in a minute. Now, I did say I thought this masculine had some powerful um, gifts that were opening up here. And now I know what it is. Okay. Right, I'm more about creation. All right. So, bottom of the deck attachment so that can just be getting rid of any kind of karmic attachments and things like that so definitely this masculine has been getting assistance here so freedom moving on letting go and we've got the attachment at the bottom so the the guides have definitely been pushing this masculine to let go of a karmic situation now that's two indications we've had of letting go because there's that saying when you let when you let something go that you love if it comes back and if you let something if you love something you let it go and it comes back you know it's meant to be with you <coughs> or you know they love you or what's that effect so it just made me think of that the way the the dove's been set free here but they've left this little door open on the cage so that if the dove does want to come back it can freely come back to the cage if it wants to and i feel that's what a twin flame connection is you have to let, you have to set the dove free. You have to let the butterfly go off and be a butterfly for a while. Let them, you know, find their own way back. And then when they do find their own way back, you know, then that is when things are truly meant to be. So Archangel Fanuel, so hope, optimism and new beginning. And there's another confirmation of a new beginning coming in here. Beautiful Archangel Fanuel. With that new beginning comes abundance and success. So we know this is going to be a very abundant, beautiful connection. So the spirit guides are pushing you both and the ancestors. So there's another card of creation, soul expression and something new. So in Archangel Metatron's card, we saw the creation expansion card. So Archangel Metatron could be helping to open this masculine up. And I'll tell you why, because this masculine is a powerful seer. 
this masculine could be having visions of the future and that's why he could be moving into this energy of actually creating something that he has seen some sort of um, vision of for the future or something like that. So this masculine, I did feel he was getting his gifts opened up. I did not see him being a seer, which is ironic because I'm a seer. <laughs> the seer did not see that he was a seer. So yeah, prophet and ancient seer, decisions and decisions and predictive guidance. Yeah. definitely some sort of prophet. Now he could have shamanic healer ancestors here because this is all about shamanic healer ancestors but I do feel this masculine could definitely be some sort of healer himself. Cleansing and attunement. So this masculine could be attuning with his, um, getting some sort of attunement from his ancestors who could be powerful shamanic healers and he's kind of getting attunement from them pushing him into his own shamanic journey as well at this time. Definitely a lot of rest, rejuvenation, um, connecting with the divine, joy, bless blessings and intuition with Archangel Haniel. So this masculine's definitely opening up to higher levels of intuition, but just, just feeling happier and more joyful in themselves. And this is the energy that guides are trying to keep this masculine in and the angels because they want him to come in in this beautiful, playful, ready to begin again energy so up from the depths releasing difficulties they're trying to get the masculine to to come out of his dark phase here his dark night of the soul get rid of the fear remember we saw the fear he's definitely getting some sort of loving nurturing for his inner child through the mother mary energy whatever this masculine needs he needs some support to get the confidence to actually just step out of his fear and worry about because you can understand it you know um and sorry the last card out animal totems animal energy and powers i did feel this masculine had some sort of connection to animals in nature so when i saw the mother gaia card and archangel metatron's deck that generally tells me that nature i said that this masculine could walk out the door and nature is just drawn to him birds and everything just want to be close to him animals want to be close to him and he's because he's got some sort of powerful energy and dragons as well dragons and animals this masculine definitely could have some sort of connection to to them in some way so um so yeah so i don't know what i'm going to say there i lost track of what i was going to say but yeah so this masculine is definitely he's definitely um getting stronger opening up to more to his gifts and he's he's definitely and I'm definitely healing and be getting stronger and stronger every day. But he's working with a whole array here of beautiful guides, ancestors, angels, passed on loved ones, and I feel like everyone is getting him to his his highest and greatest potential, so he can return to you feminine and prove his faithfulness, prove he loves you, and get you to trust him again. And I just feel like he wants to build your trust, or she wants to build your trust. Take it as it resonates, but. Anyway, that has been a beautiful message as always and I'm so grateful to bring it to you and thank you to all, all the beautiful guides and archangels and ancestors that are always around for these readings who help me each night. I could not do this without their love and light and wisdom and protection so I always like to thank them but I never really do it on camera but I'm doing it tonight because they deserve it. They, they really are amazing. They're always there. They're always around here even if they're not over there but they're always around so I'm so grateful for them all but thank you all for watching. Take care and I send you all so much love and light. Namaste.